Okay, here I am at the end of the day. Part two of this video. Give me two videos. Um, I solved most of it. Most of it is corrected, rectified, and tolerable. Okay? The gap is 4.8 millimeters. However, that's going to change because I'm going to have to cut more into the corner panel. Weld it back up, remeasure it, sand it down to establish, re-establish 4.8 millimeters. Because this door is original, original skin, and I sanded this down because um, too much body filler was applied, way too much. Brought it way out. On the quarter panel itself is about On the quarter panel itself is 3.3 millimeters of Bondo body filler. Which I think is too much, but we'll just have to drive on and keep making progress. Um, the door striker was too close to the door, resulting in a collision right here, colliding right here with the edge of this striker. So it was a clunk door shutting sound. It wasn't smooth and proper like a Porsche sounding door. Um, so I loosened this, dropped it down from those black marks about one millimeter made a spacer, put it behind this striker plate. Now we have a door It's a very distinctive clunk, proper sound. Managed to trim it back. And also the big problem this morning was the door let me show you with a piece of uh, steel, if I can find my ruler, there it is. Much better. However, a lot of this filler in here is gonna have to come off. Because I noticed those long scratches and lines, and I really, really tried to, to uh, or I hoped that it would be on the clear. Maybe that indicated that something I did here, scarred it, scratched it, it's not. It's in the paint. It's in the paint. So all that's gonna have to come off. Okay, and make it smooth. And we just don't need so much body filler on it, guys and gals. We just don't need it. Hopefully, soon, the notion and the idea that more body filler is good is the way to do it will be flushed away. I think the proper way is to have as minimal amount of body filler on here as possible. But, Old school stuff sometimes is not the best. Back in the 70s, lather on Bondo, call it a day. Get the insurance payout and go home. Now, restoration work is a whole lot different, a whole lot more entailed than collision work. So, 
Collision guys aren't always the best restorers. I'm not apologizing for that. It's my experience, that is the case. So, it's ugly, but it's getting better. <laughs> and it's hot. Gotta go, choose.